Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Why is the Christian church teaching us that God's laws is done away with? We just went to various scriptures to show you that God's laws is the truth. God's laws is his will. That's why we went into slavery. That's why we, hey, that's why we went through the things we went through, like redlining. That's why we had yokes of iron on our necks, because what? We didn't want to keep God's laws as a people. We broke his commandments. When we came out to teach the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans who you are according to the Bible. According to the Bible, you're the Israelites. That's right. That's right. You're the Israelites that God chose to rule this earth. But what happened? How did we get into the conditions that we are in today? We broke God's commandments, and we was brought into slavery, which is documented in the Bible. You would never learn this in church. Your pastor not going to read this in church. Matter of fact, give me Psalm chapter 85. Let's start right there. Let's see what God says when he was prophesied through King David. Read that. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 85, verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth. What did God say? Truth shall spring out of the earth. So now, give me the truth. So now, when you hear this verse, you should think, God said, truth shall spring out in the earth. Meaning the truth of this Bible is going to be on the uprise. It's going to be known throughout the whole earth. So you got to ask yourself, what is the truth according to the Bible? What is the truth that's going to spring out in this earth? Let's read it. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. And thy law is the truth. What's the truth? Thy law is the truth. So according to the Bible, go back to Psalms chapter 85. The truth is God's laws, That's which right. we haven't been keeping as a people. That's why we was brought into captivity. That's why we was brought into slavery. Let's read it again. Get some understanding. Come on. The book of Psalms chapter 85 verse 11. Truth shall spring out of the earth. God says truth shall spring out in the earth. What's the truth? God's laws. What else is the truth? That you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you're the children of Israel. You're God's chosen people. You got to learn this truth before destruction come to America. America is not going to stand forever. That's what the Bible says. So before destruction come, you better come and learn who you are. Come and ask questions. Read it again. Truth shall spring out of the earth. God's laws is going to come out on this earth. That's why Christ said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. What is the will of God? His laws, his commandments. Read it again. Truth shall spring out of the earth, and righteousness shall look down from heaven. So there's God, Christ, and the angels looking down upon the prophets right now as we teach this Bible, as we bring out his laws, as we bring out the truth that you are the Israelites according to the Bible. Give me that in Matthew chapter 6. Christ said the same thing about the truth shall be done in God's earth. When he sent out, when he taught the apostles how to pray, he said, thy kingdom come. Let's read, let's see what the Bible says. Read that. This is the book of Matthew chapter 6. Verse 9, after this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. He said, our Father, this is Christ teaching the apostles how to pray. Remember, they said that the, what they say, uh, the Trinity. That's not according to the Bible. If Christ is teaching the apostles how to pray to God, and Christ is on the earth, that tells you that Jesus and God is not the same person. So the Christian church have been teaching you lies. But watch this, read it again. After this manner, therefore pray ye, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come. What did the Lord say? Thy kingdom come. What did the Lord say? Thy kingdom come. We want God's kingdom to come on this earth. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for a new kingdom, like it says in the Bible. And what kingdom are we looking for? God's kingdom. He said, thy kingdom come on the earth. God's kingdom is coming to the earth. Yes. So if God's kingdom coming to the earth, what's going to happen to the, the ruling kingdom that we're in now? It's going to be destroyed. Read that part again. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done. He said God's will be done. What is the will of God? Let's get that. Because we read the Bible says truth shall spring up in the earth. And we went to the precept to explain to you what truth is. The truth is keeping God's laws. That's what the truth is. Now, Christ said, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth. Let's see what God's will is that Christ was saying, teaching the apostles how to pray that it should happen. Read. The book of Psalms, chapter 40, verse 8. I delight to do thy will. This is King David praying to the Father. He said, I delight, meaning I got joy to do thy will. Oh my God, yea, thy law is within my heart. What is God will? Thy law is within my heart. So why is the Christian church teaching us that God's laws is done away with? We just went to various scriptures to show you that God's laws is the truth. God's laws is his will. That's why we went into slavery. That's why we, hey, that's why we went through the things we went through, like redlining. That's why we had yokes of iron on our necks, because what? We didn't want to keep God's laws as a people. We broke his commandments. You understand that, sis? Let me ask you a question. You believe in the Bible? You believe in God? Do you believe we should do what God tell us to do? Have you grew up in, you grew up in church? What denomination? Baptist. Are you still going to church right now to this day? What, what made you stop going? It's a reason why, because if God is in the churches, then that means you should still be there because you want to be in the presence of God, correct? What made you stop going to the church? I'm going to say this. I've been going around visiting churches. I'm asking you to make them short. Uh-huh. You've been going around visiting different churches? Okay, now what? You're going around visiting... Okay, so you grew up in a Christian church probably all your life, right? I'm going to ask you a question. Who is the nation of Israel? So the Bible says that there's no end to all the people. That's, the, that's what the Bible says. Meaning all nations that was created in the beginning is still on the earth, right? 416. Let me get that scripture. So all nations is on the earth, right? Watch this. I'm going to prove it. Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 16. There is no end of all the people. So the Bible says there is no end to all the people. Meaning what? Everybody that God created in the beginning is still on the earth today. Right. You understand, right? So now, give me Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 1. Because you grew up in church all your life, right? Whether you believe it or not, the Bible is a history book. And it's written about a certain group of people. It's a, it's a, it was a prophecy. I mean, all nations is in the Bible. All nations. God created all nations in the book of Genesis. But the Bible is actually exclusive and dedicated to one group of people, one race of people on the earth. Do you know what people that is? They should teach you this in church. It's very important. Now watch this. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So you heard what the Bible just said, right? You know about Moses. Moses led the children of Israel out of Egypt. So now when they got on the other side of the, of the sea, remember he, split, he parted the sea, right? And they got on the other side. The Bible says in Deuteronomy, it says, these be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Meaning he was speaking to all 12 tribes of Israel. God told Moses to tell the Israelites something will happen to them in the future. I'm going to show you what that is. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28. This is the book Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass. When it says it shall come to pass, meaning it shall happen in the future. You understand? You with me? This is Moses speaking to the Israelites. He said something is going to happen in the future 
If thou would not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Hearken means to listen. Hearken unto the voice of God is the Bible. Meaning the words that was written in the Bible was given to the children of Israel. He said, if you don't hearken to the words that's written in this Bible, because this is God's voice. Read. To observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses told the Israelites, that's what we're talking about, right? That if they break our commandments, that curses will fall upon them in the future. Now, I'm going to go through some of these curses, and I want you to tell me who did these things happen to. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Hey, sis, so now we're reading in the book of Deuteronomy, right? Because I want to make sure I see you sitting in your car, you listening. So Moses was speaking to the children of Israel after he brought them out of Egypt. God told Moses to tell the Israelites something will happen to them in the future. Meaning, if they broke God's commandments, evil things will fall upon them in the future. Now, I'm going to go through some of these curses so we can figure out who the who these things who these things are and who the children of Israel are today. Because the curses was put upon the children of Israel for them to recognize who they were, who they are in the last days because they lost their identity in slavery. Their names was changed in slavery to black, African American, Negroes, colored, Puerto Rican, Cubans, Guatemalans, uh, Mexican these people are the children of Israel, and we're going to prove it through the curses. Come on. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee. It says, and the Lord shall bring thee, meaning the Israelites, into Egypt. Egypt is synonymous for slavery. Remember, the children of Israel were slaves in Egypt. So he said, I'm going to bring you back into Egypt again with ships. With ships. How did our people get to this side of the earth, sis? Huh? On ships, on boats. This was one of the curses that happened to the children of Israel. He says, the Lord says he's going to bring you back into the conditions you was in in Egypt. Meaning suffering slavery. But this time you're going to go on ships. Watch this, read on. By the way, the word of I spake unto thee, thou shalt not, thou shalt see it no more again. We're not going to see our homeland as a people. What's our homeland? Jerusalem. That's Jerusalem right. is our land, Israel. Read. And there, and there, once we got off the ship, ye shall be sold. We shall be what? Sold. Unto who? Unto your enemies. So God said that the children of Israel, once they get off the slave ships, they will be sold unto their enemies. Did this not happen to us, sis? Was we not sold into slavery? Did they not take our sons and daughters and separate the mothers, separate the father from their children, and sell your children to another person in another state? Let's read that curse, verse 32. You understand that, sis? So God told the Israelites that if they broke the commandments, we're the Israelites. Only, only way you can read in history about people going into slavery on ships is black people. That's right. We went into slavery on ships. Why are we called black today? Why are we called African Americans today? That's a curse from God. God, changed our, God had our names changed in slavery by the white man. Believe it or not, God sent the white man against us because of our disobedience. Read this verse. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters, he says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. He says, did this not happen to us, sons? Was not our sons and daughters taken from us, given to another race of people? Yes, it did happen. Verse 41. That happened, right, sons? Watch this. Read verse 41. Verse 41. Thou shalt beget sons and daughters. Say we shall have sons and daughters. But thou shalt not enjoy them. Say we're not going to enjoy our sons nor our daughters. For they shall go into captivity. Because they're going to go into slavery. That's another word for captivity. Slavery. God said the blacks, the Hispanics, and the Native Americans will not enjoy their children because your children will go into slavery. Why did this happen to us? Because we broke God's laws. Why are we suffering as a people? Because we breaking God's laws. What is the nation? Nation is men leading by example. Family.